The unrelenting call of the wild courses through my body. The tremble of these fingers cannot be stopped. The real me. The facade of a man crumbles, and my true self awakens with a primal scream. Hey everybody, it's Jerry here, and today I'm going to be doing something pretty interesting today. Uh, me and my good friend here, Casey Modulo, discovered something when they were messing around with the files for Bloody Roar 1. Also, big shout out to SCXCR for uploading the Japanese Bloody Roar 1 demo bin file, which made this possible in the first place. The file came from uh, the demo of the game in Japanese, but it's never played. So uh, no one would ever see it unless you took it apart and was like crazy with it like we were. That's it. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing an analysis of Bloody Roar 1's beta intro because there are about like four to five, maybe six differences in it, which I think is pretty cool. So let's just cut right to it. All right, you ready? You can see it and stuff, right? All right, let's do it. Yeah. All right. The unrelenting call of the wild. So this is the original Japanese eyes. version, uh, the arcade, the or just the, the this is the demo, the Japanese demo. Uh, yeah, uh, on the left, the uh, it's me. from the BR1 Japanese the uh, demo, and on the right is the Japanese final. Yeah. With so, screen. so with this moonshot, it's it's super minor, but I think no, no. Nothing. Nothing's here so far. There's really minute differences that you can see. Like right now, it looks like the moon's a little bigger on the right. Nothing. Yeah, that, that's what it was. Yeah. Just the real small stuff like that. Yeah, but the big difference between the final and beta is that the the moon is still reflecting off of Yugo's eye in the beta, which doesn't really look that good. Yeah, they and... both popped out. I was like, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, those shots are still the same, except for the frames right here on his eyes. It looks like he has more fur on the beta version. But and he also they also zoomed in differently on the the final version. Yep, and then you see the lights of the city. The city building. Watching on the left, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They show. So I, I'm not super familiar with BR1, so when I ripped this, I'm like, tell me if there's anything different. He's like, wait, hold on. Yeah. So I had to make a comparison between the two, and there, there's enough there. Some some stuff's really minute, but some stuff's like, oh, that's totally different. That's kind of neat. Yeah, but this this was this. There's one thing in particular in the beta intro that really like had me like, what what the f is going on? So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get to that like near the end of it. But 
yeah, the buildings uh, look a lot better in the final version than they do in the beta version. It's actually kind of crazy. And right here, uh, Yugo, his his hands, uh, they're more upwards in the beta than they are in the final version. Like, yeah, looks, the animation's just slightly different. Yeah, he looks lanky in the beta version. Uh, these shots are pretty much the same. Yep. It changes, I think, in, um... Let's see. It's right after Foxes, because Bakryu's transition is after that. Okay. Right. So with Bakryu here, uh... So the buildings are obviously... Wait, no. The buildings are actually the same in this shot. Uh, on that side, yeah. Really they're pretty much the same. You even see a car there. Yeah. When the next shot was different, I think, right? Yeah, the shading is slightly darker on the car. Uh, but he had he looks completely different in the uh, the beta version. He has no proper shading whatsoever, and there's like barely anything behind him. I mean, there are buildings, but it's not as the f there's no fog there uh, to create no. an ambience or anything like that. But there's a jeep behind Bakryu in in the final version, which I didn't even notice until Casey pointed it out. I've yeah, never... I was like, oh wait, it's the jeep from the next shot, and you're yeah. like, oh, yeah, <laughs> like, I, I would have never even pieced that together. Yeah, I never saw that. So like. Um, we tried to, like, deduce whether or not Gato was watching him or if Bakuryu landed in front of the Jeep because he suspected Gato of being a threat or something like that. We don't really know, but that same Jeep behind Bakuryu in the shot is the same one that Gato is driving right afterwards. Mm. So it's pretty interesting. Yeah, so that was a nice touch that they added in the final. Yeah. But here, here's the shot, I think, after this part that made you do, like, a triple take. And I was like, what? Yeah, here it comes. After this part, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so with Mitsuko, in the final version, she's in the desert because she's searching for her daughter who is at Tylon at the moment. Uh, but when I saw this in the preview, because I forgot what format was the original, like, file for the beta again? Uh, STR? Yeah, when I saw the STR preview this program that Casey was running I saw these buildings and I saw all this white stuff off the ground and I'm like what the f I was like what is going on here and like there's just a bunch of people a bunch of cloaked people and then they showed Mitsuko walking on the side and like like I I, I prefer how that the beta looks but I can see why they didn't include it yeah same the animation looks slightly like jankier and stiffer a and, little bit yeah. yeah and the models but i thought i always thought it was weird that in the final that she she's there alone it kind of makes sense with the hood in a crowd of people like you know yeah yeah it makes like in, in terms of context it makes more sense uh I, I don't know why they didn't just keep it off for the desert because who would want to wear a hood in a desert so <laughs> yeah i don't know <laughs> what was up with stand that. out of your uh face i guess yeah, but no, nah, this she's was a, in a, she's in a sandstorm there, so I guess it makes sense. But yeah, no, nah, this was a really cool. But that, this... that was a drastic uh, scene change. So yeah, that's the one thing that was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, like in case you didn't even realize, like I, nah. I saw it and I like freaked out. I mean, yeah, I'm not as familiar with one as I'm with like two. So like I saw it, I was like, that looks weird, but maybe I'm just. And then you were like, oh, it's different. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I was like, I was just screaming. Um, I don't think there's anything different uh, with Greg's circus shot hair in particular. Not really. If there is, it's probably just so minute, it's not even a big deal. Yeah. Now, this is where we see a couple of other differences. Long's the same. Greg's the same. Bakryu is the same. Fox is the same. The lighting changes, I think, in one of these points, right? Into the next scene? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you see it from... Uh, oh, this yeah, is right Alice's. Yeah, yeah, right here. This... Uh, it, okay, first of all, it takes longer for Alice to show up in like her shot in the beta version but in the final she's already there and the lighting looks significantly better and there's still a light ray effect coming off the sun in the beta but like you don't really um it, it doesn't really look that good off of her in the beta version it it's weird it doesn't look terrible but I see why they made a change but yeah the lens flare is a good effect and everything but uh, I think the lighting does look pretty nice. Yeah. In the final, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, and right here, there's like better texture work on the tree here for Mitsuko. Uh, Mitsuko's shot. And it 
appears quicker in the final version than in the beta, but also in the beta, she's positioned differently. Hmm. And oh, she's, and yeah, she's got brown hair on the left. Oh, and yeah, yeah. Black hair on the right, right? Mm, yeah, yep. Brown hair on the beta. There's any other differences that I can. Yeah, there's see. black hair. The ground also looks slightly different, actually. Slightly. It, it, it does. I'm not sure if it's just uh, the camera angle or if they did change the texture slightly. Yeah. I don't but know. either way, it's it's interesting to see that they had a video ready to go and then they fine tuned it and changed it and you know just before the release because this demo was just before the launch. Mm -hmm. and then they just gave us the side boob. Uh, super, yeah. super, super minor, but Gato's pants are slightly darker. I can't really say too much about the rest of them, but his pants are definitely slightly darker. Yeah. You gotta have a good eye to really, like, see it, but it's really minor. Uh, oh, and with, uh, I almost said Fang, Christ. With, uh, Yugo, um, the fog is more, like, prominent in the final version. It's a, it's a little bit different, or maybe it's just, uh, something about it's slightly different. It's not a big deal. Yeah. But it's just a very minute change that, you know. A lot of these scenes, this one's, I think, the same. Yeah, this, oh, oh, yeah, these oh, bits, for, yeah, 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 what's coming yeah, up? Yeah. <laughs> this, this made me laugh. So when Yugo's about to transform, or when he's transforming, his clothes just blow up <laughs> before he even, like, does, uh, you know, pulls his arms down to get himself, like, properly ready to battle Fox. It looks hilarious, and, you know, they, they, they timed it correctly in the final version. I'm glad they did that, because, God. I see what they were going for with yeah. the, the first shot. Mm -hmm. But they just, you know, I see why they changed it anyway. But, mm -hmm. eh. Yeah. Minor stuff. Speaking of minor stuff, the light on the right of Fox's shadow here on the wall is, like, it's, it's, uh, it's not as strong as in the beta. I just noticed that. Yeah, the light is different. Is it? Yeah, it's slightly different. Very, very slightly, I think. Well, maybe not here, I can't tell, but prior, yeah, definitely. And... Most, most everything else looks... Yeah, except for this part, too, is a little bit different. They oh, cut yo, wait, the wait, wait. beta before, right? Yeah, Oh, wait, yeah. no, the thought is actually different itself. Yeah, yeah, like, his yeah. hand is covering more his of his is face. More, yeah, it's more, yeah, like, in the upright, version. not turned. Mm -hmm. And then it fades out the black and the beta, like you mentioned, and then... So, yeah, that's basically it. And then the rest is just going to play. Um, after this, I just thought that it'd be cool if we did an analysis. Well, this was Casey's idea. I didn't want to do an analysis at first, but we're doing it I now. I mean, we're just going to upload the video. I'm like, well, let's just... Yeah, I want you to talk about that. it. Yeah, I want you to talk about it. So I was like, all right, yeah, you want me to talk about it? Well, you going to be with me since you found the beta <laughs> video. So, yeah. Um, My pleasure. Yeah, thanks. Well, um, that was yeah, hopefully uh, some of you guys thought this was, you know, neat. Mm -hmm. Just to kind of take a glance at, because I'm not sure if... Many people knew about this. Yeah. So I figured I'd take a look, mm -hmm. rip it, share it. Yeah. Someone might find it pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the better, the more preserved, the better. It's good mm. to preserve these types of things because not a, there's still many things about Bloody Word that we don't know. So this is definitely, uh, this is welcome. Um, but yeah, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I will catch you guys in the next upload whenever, if ever. You got any final words? about it have a great day yes and uh stay out of trouble yeah for real <laughs> bye mm. see ya